Hi everyone, my name is Kaya and I'm a library assistant at Wilson Library. And you may or may not know that on our first floor we have a small collection of fun, popular reading materials that we call the McAllister Collection. With this in mind, I've gone through our books and found three new science fiction books that I think you may be interested in reading. My first book is The Three-Body Problem by Chixin Lu. This book was just recently translated into English from Chinese, where in China it was a best-selling book. It's a very classic sci-fi story of the first time Earth makes contact with aliens, this time via a secret government program in China. We follow several stories in The Three-Body Problem. One is Yi, a young scientist, a physicist, who is haunted by a strange or dark past with her father who was murdered during the Cultural Revolution for teaching the theory of relativity. We also have Wang, who is a scientist uh, investigating a strange string of suicides among other scientists, all who are involved in a virtual reality program called Three Body. If this sounds interesting, I hope you'll check out The Three Body Problem by Chixin Lu. My next book is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And this book is quite different from the last. This time, instead of aliens, we have a very fast acting flu pandemic that wipes out 99.9% .9 of the world's population almost overnight. Now, it may initially seem like this is a story of survival against the odds, figuring out how to live without technology, but it actually jumps 20 years into the future after we figured out all those day-to-day -day living things and looks at what happens next. We focus on a small group of actors and musicians who call themselves the Traveling Symphony and cross the northern part of the US uh, performing music and theater for the small communities of survivors that they find. This is a very beautifully written book, a very haunting story, and asks a lot of interesting questions about art and humanity and what will survive us when we're gone. So if that sounds interesting, check out Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. All right, and this, my final book is The Martian by Andy Weir, which, as you may have guessed, brings us straight back out into outer space. Uh, this story focuses on Mark, who is an astronaut with NASA, and he is part of the third manned mission to Mars. Everything is going well until an accident occurs on the surface, and he is presumed dead and left behind on the planet. Most of the story is told in the form of Mark's log entries, as he figures out how to survive on the surface of a planet not meant for humans, uh, but it's interspersed with log notes from scientists back at NASA, who quickly realize they've left someone behind and have to scramble together a rescue mission. This is a very fast-paced, plot-driven book, a very exciting tale, and so if it sounds interesting, I'd encourage you to read The Martian by Andy Weir. All three of these books can be found on the first floor of Wilson Library, where we have a bunch of other fun reading books for you to browse and hopefully check out. And if you can't find it there, you can also stop by a local library or find it in a nearby bookstore. Thank you!